The disorders that are covered in this unit are the trauma and stressor related disorders and the dissociative disorders. The causes of dissociative disorders are not well understood, but often seem to emerge when there is a history of significant trauma. Psychological distress following exposure to a traumatic or stressful event is quite variable. In some cases, symptoms can be well understood with an anxiety or fear-based context. It is clear, however, that many individuals who have been exposed to a traumatic or stressful event exhibit a phenotype in which, rather than anxiety or fear-based symptoms, the most prominent clinical characteristics are anhedonic and dysphoric symptoms, externalizing anger and aggressive symptoms, or dissociative symptoms. Because of these variable expressions of clinical distress following exposure to catastrophic or aversive events, the disorders have been grouped under separate category, trauma and stressor-related disorders. Furthermore, it is not uncommon for the clinical picture to include some combination of these symptoms with or without anxiety or fear-based symptoms. Such a heterogeneous picture has long been recognized in adjustment disorders as well. Social neglect, that is the absence of adequate caregiving during childhood, is a diagnostic requirement for both reactive attachment disorder and disinhibited social engagement disorder. Although the two disorders share a common etiology, the former is expressed as an internalizing disorder with depressive symptoms and withdrawn behavior while the latter is marked by disinhibition and externalizing behavior. Dissociative disorders are characterized by a disruption of and or discontinuity in the normal integration of consciousness, memory, identity, emotion, perception, body representation, motor control, and behavior. Dissociative symptoms can potentially disrupt every area of psychological functioning. Dissociative symptoms are experienced as a unbidden intrusion into awareness and behavior with accompanying loss of continuity in subjective experience, i.e. positive dissociative symptoms such as fragmentation of identity, depersonalization, and derealization, and or b an inability to access information or to control mental functions that normally are readily amenable to access or control, i.e. negative dissociative symptoms such as amnesia. The dissociative disorders are frequently found in the aftermath of trauma, and many of the symptoms, including embarrassment and confusion about the symptoms or a desire to hide them, are influenced by the proximity to trauma. In DSM-5, the dissociative disorders are placed next to, but not part of, the trauma and stressor-related disorders, reflecting the close relationship between these diagnostic classes. Both acute stress disorder and post-traumatic stress disorder contain dissociative symptoms such as amnesia, flashbacks, numbing, and depersonalization or derealization. There are severity measures for three of the diagnoses covered on this unit, PTSD, acute stress disorder, and dissociative disorder. They are designed to be administered over the course of treatment to measure treatment progress. These three are made up of items that correspond closely to the diagnostic criteria for the disorder. ICD-10 places the first two diagnoses in this group in the section called Behavioral and Emotional Disorders with Onset Usually Occurring in Childhood and Adolescence, and the second two in the Neurotic, Stress-Related, and Somatoform Disorders section. In addition to the five types of adjustment disorder listed here, ICD-10 has F4320, adjustment disorder with a brief depressive reaction. Dissociative identity disorder and dissociative amnesia disorder from DSM-5 
are located in the F44 section of ICD-10, which is called dissociative or conversion disorders, which also includes F44.1, dissociative fugue, F44.2, dissociative stupor, F44.3, trance and possession disorders, F44.4, dissociative motor disorders, F44.5, dissociative convulsions, F44.6, dissociative anesthesia and sensory loss, and F44.7, mixed dissociative disorder.